So y'all gave me something to today. I have to work on me. I have to work on me. But I'm not lost anymore. We came from roaches on the floor. A notice on the door, begging soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth, the way it's soaking and it washed. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and it's raw. I used to post up out of store, work stashed behind the door. Everything I had was pure, so fiends was coming back for more. The most high opened my eyes, and then I seen that I was flawed. Now I'm addicted to these laws, because they potent and they raw. I was in and out of jail, cause in the streets, yeah, I was lost. Trying to be like all of Hustlers, they don't tell you what's the cause. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariyala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you, the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIBOfficialZion.com. Get yours today. That's the devil. That's the devil, right? Now, without the horns and the tongues, who would you say that is? That's Jesus. That's what people would say Jesus is, right? Now, is that what he actually looks like? Probably not, right? Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, what about you in the Missouri church, sir? Do you, do you know? Do you believe in Christ? Yeah. You believe in Christ? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Without the horns and the tongue, is that what Christ would look like? No. No? What would he look like? You know, Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern is a direction. It's not a it's description it's a of a people group. Oh, sorry, man. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Right? So y'all are Bible believers? <laughs> yeah. You are? You are? What about you, Mr. Missouri? Are you Bible believers? Okay. Bible believers meet Bible scholars, right? Give me Revelation. Start at 1 and jump to 14. So y'all believe in Christ, right? Do you think it's important that people who believe in Christ should know what he looks like? Yes. Oh, get the most out here. This is the first time I heard someone say, yes, it's important that people know what Christ actually looks like, right? Go ahead. It's the book of Revelation is the first chapter, the first verse. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. You know what the word revelation means? It just means to reveal. Key word, reveal. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and drop down to 14. God. It's a lot. 13. Gotta get the grip. God. Gotcha. Verse 13, uh -huh. and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right. one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with the garment down to the foot. So this is John the Revelator looking at Christ. Yeah. Right? He's looking at Christ standing before him. He's saying that he has a long garment down to the foot, read. And girt about the pouch with the golden girdle. And he had a golden girdle. So imagine like a like a dope silk robe with a golden sash tied around it, right? I know I walk around the house chilling on my day off, glass in hand, looking like I'm dipped in butter, right? Go ahead. 14, his head. And his hair uh -huh. were white like wool. He's talking about the texture of his hair is woolly in texture and what? White like wool. Uh huh. As white as snow. White in white in color, woolly in texture. What people have woolly textured hair? You said what? Get the most high hair. You're absolutely right. But not just so-called African Americans, because you also have a thing called Afro Latinas and Afro Latinos, like this beautiful Dominican system. This is a beautiful hair for the wool, right? Is that a hair for the wool? Absolutely. Oh, strike one against that guy. Go ahead. Uh, and his, and his, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. You ever heard the expression, he's got a fire in his eyes? Like he watching boxing? What that mean? Like he angry, he hyper-focused? Did he got that look? No, nah, but who always gets accused of looking like they're angry and about to do something? <laughs> when police start saying, well, he looked like he was about to attack me. Is that towards the Asian guy? Towards the Caucasian guy? Or do you see that against the Hispanic, Native, and Black guy? There you go. Go ahead. 15. And his feet, like a divine brass. What color is brass? B-R-A-S-S. -S. What color is that? It's like copper. Dark. Like a, like a copper color, right? Kind of like me, right? Read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn. Why y'all ever burn something in the oven? What happened? What, happened? what color is that? Charred. Char. Like, what color is charred, though? Black. So you have a, the matter of fact, then read the last one. And his voice as a sound of many waters. A loud, authoritative voice, right? So he was very loud spoken, dark skin, woolly hair, looked like he was mad. And let's go over his rap sheet. He was put in jail and he was killed for a crime that he did not commit. And all he did was go around and tell the truth to his people and try to make them better. Who did I just describe? What demographic? 
African Americans. Put them on side hand. This guy knows. So you know the expression: if it walk like a duck, it talk like a duck. Then it's got to be a duck. If it talk like a black man, walk like a black man, Christ would be a get the most high hand. Oh, praise. Depiction right here, because that's not Christ. That is a man by the name of Cesare Borgia or Cesare Borgia, right? He was a known, I guess you can call him a modern day sex offender. He liked to have sex with his biological sister, killed his brother, killed his dad, did war crimes, and all types of stuff. You can actually play Assassin's Creed 2 and kill this bastard. And I highly recommend it, <laughs> right? So if, they, if, if, if the church, the Catholic church and all branches of Catholicism and Christianity lied about the image of what Christ looked like, do you think that they would also lie about what he came to do? Oh, of, course. of course, right? Now, the church will say that Christ came to save everybody that lives on the earth. Would you agree to that? Yeah, right? I would agree that that's what they teach. But now, is that what he actually came to do? You hope so. Okay, what about you? What, you, what say you, sir? I hope so as well. You would hope so? What say you? Okay, all right. If you don't mind me asking, what y'all is ethnicity? I don't, want, I don't like to presume anything. You say what? You're mixed with Hispanics? Who's Hispanic? Your mother or father? My mom. Okay, okay, what about you? Oh wait, dad, son? Dad, yeah. This dad? Okay, dad, what's your ethnicity? White Caucasian. White Caucasian? From where? Like, my family? Yeah. German Irish. Oh man. <laughs> hey man, look, I'm letting you know right now. If you ever find yourself surrounded by Jamaicans or Haitians, just know your people earned that. <laughs> now, so, let, let's just go ahead and get some humans. Give me Ask. Where you at? Who's you at? You stay, okay, you stay right where you at. Give me Acts 5, Bob. Right now, let's, let's, should we believe the word of God first before we believe what any man says? Oh, praise. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, right? We ought to obey God rather than men. Y'all agree? We ought to obey God rather than men, right? Go on. The God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus. So this is also possessive. You got to remember, Peter is a Jew, yeah? He is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He's saying the God of what? The God of our fathers. Ours is a possessive pronoun, right? Like if, if you two say that's our mom and that's our dad, can I say that that's my dad? No, because that person belongs to you, right? It's the same thing. He said the God of what? The God of our fathers. So he's letting you know the God of our, the Jews, the Israelite fathers, read. Raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom you slew and hanged on a tree. And it was the Jews who had Christ uh, 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 jailed and killed, read. Him have God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior uh -huh. for to give repentance. Real quick, who do you think repentance is for? Hmm. <laughs> Remember, we're on the discussion of this isn't the image of Christ, this is the truth of the lie. Now we're trying to see what else the church lied about. The church said that he came to give repentance to everyone and save everybody in the earth. You three said that you hope that that be true. Do you think it's going to say that he came to give repentance to everybody in the earth? He says no. What do you say? But it should. But it, oh, hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> so, so let me, let me, so if God sent an angel right now to you, and he came up to you rough and cussed you out. Are you gonna then tell God, God, you should have sent the nicer angel? Well, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't you, tell you, God you, what you to wouldn't. do. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Just like, yeah. just like, for example, you gave them a punishment. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. And then he comes up to you, Dad, you shouldn't have put me on punishment. Put my PS5. Can he say that to you? He shouldn't. He shouldn't. <laughs> so then why? So then why would you then say that the Word of God should say something? Exactly. Go ahead. God. The God of like him have God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior uh -huh. for to give repentance to who? To Israel. Everybody to who? To, to Israel. Israel. To who? To, to Israel. Israel. And what else? And forgiveness of sins. So Peter is exclaiming that this is for the children of Israel, right? Is that everybody in the earth? No. See, look, I will praise for y'all being honest, right? I'll praise. Now let's hear it out of the words of Christ. Because this is by the words of Peter. What you got? Oh no, we're gonna get there. Oh, that, that's the that's that's the that's the later one. It's a later one. Now let's get the words of Christ real quick. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 24th verse. By the way, real quick, just so we know, we, we got we got the account of one Judite. we rather get another account of another more prominent Judite. Go ahead. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent, right? but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of who? The house, the house of, of Israel. Israel. He said the house of Israel. Again, that's not everybody in the earth, right? So the church lied about the image and as well as the message in which he brought. So if he's not here to save everybody in the earth, but only the children of Israel, how do you feel? Be honest. We're here to 
here to have brutally honest discussions. <laughs> you said what? Well, that's why I asked you what their ethnicity was. Give me numbers one and eighteen, right? Do you know how ethnicity is determined? Do you know? It is by the lineage of your father, right? And that's also proven both in science and as well as the Bible. Go ahead. It's the book of Numbers, the first chapter, the 18th verse. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together right? on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigree. Their what? Their, their pedigree. pedigree. Do you know what a pedigree is? Do you know? Okay, so you ever, you ever try to get like a purebred dog? And they check what? The pedigree of the dog. It's the bloodline. That's what it is. So, and they declared their pedigrees by their what? <clears throat> After their families, uh -huh. by the house of their father. By the house of their who? Of the house, the house of, of their, their father. father. So who your father is, that is what you are. All of us up here are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, whose forefathers go back to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So what you are looking at are the Israelites that Christ said that he came from. But if you said you are Caucasian of uh, German and Irish descent, right? So Irish on his father's side. Irish on your father's side. Oh, man. You're gonna have a problem with the Haitians, bro. I'm telling you, do not go to little Haiti when you go to Florida. Just don't do it. It's not gonna end well for you, I promise. Right? So the Caucasians have done what to black Hispanic and Native Americans for over the past 500 years? So what? Oppression. Oppression, right? Now we can always just say the blanket term oppression and leave it nice and pretty. But when you dig down to what entails in that oppression, you would be forgiven. It's always a bite. It's always a bite. Oh, what the Caucasians did, I just don't think it's not really forgivable. Get them outside of hand. Get them outside of hand. That's brutally honest. I, I, I'll, I'll accept that. It, it, it was downright evil, right? Absolutely evil. But yet the same people who did those acts gave this and said all people can't be saved. What does that sound like? I know I did something bad, but I'm gonna make you love me even though I do something bad to you. Is it damn right? That's part of the history, right? It's, a, it's part of being a oppressor and showing your, what's called white supremacy. You see what I'm saying? So all these things are, 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 are inherently evil, right? Christ said he's coming to the people for whom that evil was done unto. So what do you think God is going to do to deliver a recompense to the very people? Because it's not just Caucasian. It's also the Chinese man, the Japanese man, the East Indian man, the South African, Amedic Africans all over that continent, right? It's all other ethnicities who have had a part in the destruction of Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and as well as the Israelites in general who go by the names of different ethnicities across the world. What do you think the Most High God is going to do for such evil that has been done? Punish them. What would that look like? What would you see as a just punishment? You said what? To someone who's evil. Yeah, well, to those evil acts in general. Like, because it wasn't just one person that did it. These were entire nations of people that literally picked on a nation of people. I don't know. It's not that I'm going to say it, but it should be. Not be great, should be bad. It should be bad. Okay. Give me revelations. Give me revelations, Ruth. But I say like an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth thing, right? Okay, all crazy. You give me revelation. You give me that in Revelations. Uh, you already know what I want. Thirteen. You give me Revelations. Nineteen. But it's the Book of Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, the ninth verse. Uh huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you can understand this, then listen. God. He. That leadeth into captivity. And my part, this is Christ speaking. He said, He that leads into captivity should what? Shall go into captivity. Is that just? People who lead people into captivity should go into captivity. That's just, right? He that killeth with the sword uh -huh. must be killed with the sword. Is that just? Unjust killing deserves people to die, right? Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints of the Lord who are described as the Israelites. They, we are patiently waiting for this recompense to come, right? And the person who's going to help deliver that recompense is the same man described here. 19 and started 11. God, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 11. Uh -huh. and, I saw a he slot. and I saw heaven open, uh -huh. and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Uh -huh. 
and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. This is describing Christ when he comes back, that second coming. He, in righteousness he doth what? Sorry, in righteousness he doth make war. Wait, wait, in, everybody, in righteousness he does what? He doth judge make and make war. He does what? Judge, judge and, and make, make war. war. So is Christ coming back to be nice? He's coming back to judge and he's going to make war with people. Right? Ah, his eyes were as a flame of fire uh -huh. and on his head were many crowns. Many crowns. I'm not saying he's going to be wearing a whole bunch of crowns, but in the essence of he's going to be taking down multiple kingdoms or multiple nations that are in power right now. One of them being the United States of America. Read. And he had a name written uh -huh. that no man knew but he himself. Uh -huh. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Wait, wait, what, what was on his vesture? He was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. If you see somebody and they're covered in blood, what does that tell you? They just killed a whole bunch of you gotta, That's a lot of bloodshed to be covered in blood. He's not coming back to be nice, Read. No, stop. And his name is called the Word of God. The Word of God. That's how you know that that's Christ talking, right? So Christ, he only came and he died for the Israelites. And he's going to come back to give a recompense to those who not only did evil, but also benefit from that evil. Do you all three understand that you benefit from the rape, rob, and murder of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Do you understand that? You do, right? I'll, I'll make it even simpler. The fact that you get to stand here in downtown Dallas, it's proof that you benefit because Dallas, Texas, was originally part of what country? Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. And Mexico was taken by the United States. By the United States. And America itself was owned by who? Native Americans. And what y'all do? You took, you, took, you took them. You took their land away. You, they told you. They told you how to survive the winter. You gave them a blanket full of smallpox. You took their land, and then you say, well, we gave you the armpits of the land, be happy. That's evil, right? It is evil. And then not only that, the same people that you, still not saying you personally, I'm, I'm talking about y'all as an amalgamated whole, right? <clears throat> not only that, but see these cars? Y'all got phones, right? The clothes that's on your backs, right? All the technology, the internet, the things that you enjoy. Do you know where all those things come from? They come from blacks, Hispanics, and natives, the very people who you've oppressed for over 500 years. So these things have to come to y'all. Give me Joe, 21 and 19. Right, because again, y'all didn't personally do it, right? And, and look, I fully understand that. Y'all y'all didn't personally do it. But the Most High is perfect in everything that he says. Go ahead. The book of Joel, the 21st chapter, the 19th verse. Uh -huh. God layeth up his iniquity for his children. For his who? For his, his children. children. Uh -huh. He rewarded him. And he shall know. And it's because the same people who did it, their blood is still running through in this earth. Right? So I understand this. Know that more than likely y'all are Caucasian Edomites or Hebrew Edomites. Right? Enemy numero uno of the Most High God. You have a specific judgment. I highly recommend you read the book of Obadiah. Because that's all about you. Right? Read that book and turn a lot and understand that this is your kingdom, so live it up. Matter of fact, give me that. Let me give you one more. Lamentations. <clears throat> Get that Lamentations. Because I'm going to show you what you ought to do in your kingdom. This is your kingdom, man. Live it up. Right before, right after Jeremiah. Lamentations 4. This is what you should be doing right now. Go ahead. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 from the top. Uh huh. How is the gold become dim? It helps, so. It's a lot. No, 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 no. Anyway. 21. 21. This book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Uh huh. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That's you guys. Y'all are the nation of Edom. Rejoice and be glad. Live it up in your kingdom, read. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, uh -huh. that dwellest in the land of Uz. Uh -huh. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. So the same cup of wrath that we had to drink because we were disobedient from the Most High, you are going to have to drink it because you put your hands on his children. Just like I'm pretty sure if anybody put their hands on you two, that man's going to war. There's no if, no ands, no buts about it. Am I right or wrong? Same thing. Same thing. You touch my children, I got to put you in the dirt. Read. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt be drunken uh -huh. and shalt make thyself naked. So it's not saying you're just going to be naked like that, but the amount of, of pain and suffering you as a nation of people are going to go through is going to be equated to like someone being so drunk in the street, they're walking around booty butt naked. Read. 
The punishment of thine iniquity uh -huh. is accomplished. Uh -huh. O daughter of Zion. Talking about us, when you guys begin to drink that cup, our punishment in this captivity will then end, Reed. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. We're not gonna go through this anymore, Reed. He will visit thine iniquity, uh -huh. O daughter of Edom. That's you, Reed. He will deliver, sorry, he will discover thy sins. Uh -huh. And all, every evil thing that you did is gonna be put back into your face. And you're gonna have to answer for it. Again, you may not have actually done it yourself, but you sure as hell benefit from it. How do you feel about the information of the truth of the Bible as it comes out? You said what? Hey, look, give him a hand. He said some people fake, some people real. I did that, man. Now, you said your mother's Hispanic, right? Yeah. Like, like indigenous Hispanic, like her father, her father, her father is Hispanic? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, okay, so like from Guatemala, Cuban. from Mexico? Cuban. 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 Cuban Middle East. Cuban. Where's she at? Did she want to have a conversation? I think she went to the Okay, well, look. She, 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 well, well, look. I'm going to be in trouble later. Look, look, hey, look, guess what? Every time that you get in trouble, you take that on the chin. That is the head of your household moving forward. That's right. That's right. That's right. Part, part of the agreement. Because, look, guess what? Your wife, she comes from the children of Manessa. That is who she is. She is yeah, her dad is chased to the uh, yeah, the African side is uh, where uh -huh. they trace their blood from. Okay. Her dad has. Hey, look. More than likely still, because we had to go through Africa to get over here in the first place. So more than likely, she is from the tribe of Manessa. She is literally a princess of Zion, daughter of Zion. God! That makes her automatically better than all three of All right? So whenever she asks you to do something, don't give her no lip. You say yes, ma'am. You say no, ma'am. Right? And when you know that you messed up, you go and tell her mama I messed up. Right? And whenever you mess up, you better, you better goddamn tell her. And matter of fact, in the event that she decides, if she ever does, file for divorce, don't give her 50%, you give her the whole fucking thing. That's right! <laughs> give her the whole fucking thing. And I'm going to tell you why. And the reason why I say that is because you have to remember that your people have taken everything from you. So it is only right that you give her everything in this world since it does belong to you currently as the current world, all right? But you make sure you tell her that she is a dear child of God, all right? I'm praying. Is there any questions? We gotta attend to the princess. That's right, that's right. You go you go attend to that princess. I appreciate it, guys. No problem, no problem, man. No problem. No problem, no problem. There's a lot of germs going around, so we do fist bumps. We're doing fist bumps, man. Oh, praise, man. Get the most out of here.